Hello friends and welcome. Welcome to another episode where I review interesting fountain pens made in China. Today I have for you quite quite a large fountain pen. It can be compared in dimensions with the Mont Blanc 149, the Diplomat model, the famous Mont Blanc 149. Of course the Chinese designers were heavily inspired by the de German design and I present to you the Jin Hao 159. If you are familiar with the Mont Blanc 149 you can see lots lots of similarities starting with the generous shape of a cigar or a torpedo and ending with the gold trims. It is quite quite a, a great uh, looker and I bought it uh, in my country Romania and in certain stores it is an renamed the manager fountain pen and this is a code bar this can be easily peeled off interesting in uh, the store that I bought this fountain pen it was available in only two colors but this was more expensive than the other color and the other color we are talking about the red fountain pen practically the same fountain pen but this one cost me only 8.42 euros and this one cost me 12.52 euros so this 41 lei and this 61 lei 41 lei 8.42 euros or 10.36 American dollars and this one 61 lays 12.52 euros or 15.31 American dollars so it is what it is it is uh, quite strange that there was a price difference but of course you don't see a red Mont Blanc 149 but a black with gold trims, the classical, classical look of the Mont Blanc 149. I guess it deserves the price difference. So, a great, great fountain pen with a generous shape. I have prepared for you some other great fountain pens. Another black one. It feels the uh, difference in weight. This is a plastic one. This is a Senator President fountain pen and I have for you also an 146 to show you the difference in size between them so a mm, smaller fountain pen but also I have for you two Flaro Titans from the 1970s this uh, with gold trims was the deluxe version with a gold nib and this was the simple plain version of the titan with those uh, silver trims so let's put them also aside and you can look at their dimensions and you can see how large those fountain pens are by the way I will leave the dimensions of the Jinhao 159 on the screen and after that we will see um, some little traits and for the traits let me compare directly to the Mont Blanc of course this is not a model Mont Blanc it's a Mont Blanc for 1952 a 146 model but uh, we will use it for the comparison. We will start with the cap. And you can see that um, on the Meisterstück we, are, we have uh, three rings. And uh, the central ring has some um, engraving on, on it. Here we have quite a generous ring with engravings. And the engravings are quite similar. Especially when we look at the Mont Blanc. We can see here the Jin Hao. Let me see what we have written on the cap. So we have a Jin Hao, yes, shield sword, shield sword series 
1.159. And I believe that the shield sword refers to uh, this uh, quite, quite interesting cap ring. It is indeed in the form of a sword. And uh, this is the blade and the shield that contains the logo of the Jin Hao, the chariot. So, although it is practically a copy, I can't say it is a copy because it has some original elements to it. For example, the shield, the sword shield clip, which doesn't uh, resemble the clip of the Mont Blanc. Let me put this aside and uh, let me show you how well it is built. The cap uh, unscrews and it reveals this interesting grip uh, section. Quite a simple grip section, but with a slightly concave ending, which contains this gold-plated ring, is si slightly outside the grip section. It offers a grip point, quite an interesting grip point when we, we write with it. We have the beautiful number six nib, a steel nib, two-tone um, colored nib. It is uh, gold plated, 18 karat GP gold plated. Again, the logo of Jin Hao. At the back, we have a plain feed, plastic feed. The barrel and screws. And you can see that we have quite a qualitative product because here we have metal and here we have metal. So quite, quite a durable, durable pen. This type of converter, it is branded Jin Hao. We unscrew the end, the 13 knob, and we can um, also use it with uh, cartridges made by Jin Hao. But um, for now, we will do the writing sample. And of course, what better to use if we have a black one than a black ink? And I will use the Pelican 4001 black ink. Brilliant Schwarz, brilliant black. Okay. Let me put this aside. Okay, for the writing sample, I will um, change the angle of the camera. Okay, let me put it like this, the camera. It is good. So, first of all, let me assure that we don't have accidents. Okay, let's give it a little shake of the ink bottle. Black, black, black. So, oh, sorry, let me show it to you at this angle. So, I simply turn the end, the turning knob, and when uh, I will extract the ink, I will do like this. I'm not so sure if you can see, but let me show it to you. Okay, I have a little, little problem, but maybe it is my bad. Okay, let me try to see. Yes, it was my bad. The ink is uh, quite low on ink, so I had to bend a little bit the ink bottle so this is the fountain pen let me close it i will show you how it pose it definitely pose and it is quite elegant in the hand but because it is quite quite heavy a metallic fountain pen I will uh, use it uncapped. So don't get me wrong, when you sign with it, you can use it capped, no problem. But on um, long writing session, 
I recommend that you leave it unkept. Let's put this here. I want to give it a little zoom to show you guys exactly how it writes. So I have here a Jin Hao. Okay. <laughs> no problem. Uh, remember, it is the first time that uh, this pen is uh, inked. So what I will do, I will repeat the procedure. So now I will empty the comforter, yes, and I will draw ink. Let me see again one time. Hmm. Yes, again the problem. I wasn't leaning the okay now. It should feel quite quite nice. Yes, you can see. Um but before let me see. Hmm. Strange, it doesn't want to write. Okay, now we have a lift off. Okay, I will take the tissue, I will clean it. Yes, and now let's hope that we don't have any more starting problems. Let me level it up and give it a little zoom and try to write with it. So, Jean, sorry. Jean Hao. Jean Hao 159. And it is, let me see. It is from Shield Sword series. So, Shield Sword series whatever they called it it is a homage of the famous of the famous and classic Mont Blanc 149 this fountain pen is made in China, so made in, sorry, made in China. It has this beautiful, beautiful steel nib, 18 karat gold plated. So a steel nib, it's, I believe it is a number six nib, steel nib, uh, GP, which means gold plated, gold plated. If um, I try to do some line variations, no, we can see it has no flex, but uh, it is a smooth writer, no annoying feedback and no scratch indeed. Let me see how juicy it is. Yes, you can see quite a juicy nib. And let me test the pressure. So here no pressure and here with pressure. So a little bit of line variations we have. Of course, I recommend that you treat gently this pen. Although it is quite a, a cheap fountain pen, it is beautiful, beautiful, beautiful. Let me write, so the quick brown fox jumps over the lazy dog. So quite a nice, quite a nice writer. Let me see if I can write with it in reverse. So Jin Hao 159. So you can see uh, I can write with it in reverse. I think that this nib is M, M for a medium nib. 
it is quite quite a nice snip and i uh, it shows um, it is really really a great great nib quite good ornated nib and quite quite a nice nice writer so guys this was my review of this giant from china of this uh, jinhao 159 model i hope you've enjoyed my review if you've enjoyed it please uh, subscribe to my channel to support my activity wherever you are i wish you to have a nice day thank you for your time thank you for all your support i see you again at the next episode till then bye bye